Hello everyone, welcome back to Blackjack. I'm Blackjack Aviati, and we are waiting for the Nintendo Direct to start. It's going to be so much fun, I hope. Let's go over my wish list. I was actually able to make one. Um, I don't think we're going to be getting a, a lot of Zelda or Pokemon information today. I think we're going to be getting announcements of Directs for both of those series, because they both have an anniversary this month. A major anniversary this month. <laughs> Um, so, I do have Plushy Cyrus here just in case, and my galactic necklace, because, you know, of course, um, I want a Final Fantasy collection, games one through six, it'd be really cool to have all those on the Switch, yeah, yeah, um, updates on Bayonetta 3 and Metroid Prime 4. All we know is that they exist and they had to scrap Metroid Prime 4 completely at one point and start over. We haven't heard anything since that announcement. So, um, I want info for Smash. I realize now that Terra is not going to happen because of Sephiroth joining, but, well, not in this game. Not in Ultimate. There will likely be more games. But, yeah, uh, Impa, I think, is the most likely character that I want. But, honestly, I'll take anyone who isn't from Activision. I include Blizzard characters in that statement. Um, Activision is just a terrible, terrible company. Their whole thing about um, blocking people who were supporting Hong Kong and punishing even a tournament winner for saying we should support Hong Kong. And then, just, they're just awful. They're just, I don't want my prepaid money going to that. That'd be, that'd be inhumane. I give my money, even inadvertently, to someone who supports human rights violations like that. It's a serious issue. And people really need to be more concerned for that. I've got nothing against Crash as a character. I've got nothing against his fans. He would probably play really fun. But, you know, Crash, Tracer, all of those characters are a huge no for me, just because of who they're owned by. Um, I'd like a Tomodachi Life sequel. Ah, the original was a hell of a time sink. It's so good. Uh, it'd be really great to have one that has all the features and stuff. Uh, I want a port of Radiant Historia, because you guys will play that. I will make you play that. It's a fantastic game. And the fact that none of you have played that is really disheartening. Um, switch menu wallpapers, because right now your options are black, white, or deal with it. Uh, some freaking amiibos, hopefully ones that aren't even connected with Smash. I love the Smash amiibos, but they seem to be the only thing keeping the series alive right now, so. Uh, games people want on online access. Illusion of Gaia, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And IDK something with parrots. You laugh, but every time I put that on my list, we've gotten something with parrots. First time I put it on, we got Mario Odyssey with the Talkatoos. Second time I put it on, we got Nino Kuni with Apis. Then third time I put it on, I think the game was called I Am Dead, and it had, like, human-animal hybrid people, and one of them we saw in the preview was a parrot. Every time I put that on, we've gotten something with parrots. Because um. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's not going to be joining us for the whole thing, though. But she is nearby, and she is being very, very cute. Just waiting on this to start. Exit full screen. Yeah, there's the chat going. <laughs> so it's 159 right now. They said they'd start in like a minute. Sorry about the awkward setup. Uh I don't know. Just kinda Oh, okay, here we go. We're starting. All right. All right, yes. I'm aware. Huh? 
How long have we waited? Are we really starting with Smash? Oh no, we're not starting with Smash. No, we are! Oh no, are we getting Rex? One day, Pyra just disappeared. <laughs> It's a whale! Unless we're getting like a sequel to this. To part two? No one has any idea where she went, huh? I couldn't find her anywhere. She went to Smash! It was as if she vanished off the face of all rest. A trace? Where have you gone? <laughs> I'll find you, whatever it takes. Yep, you're walking through some fog. You're gonna end up in a weird place. This is where you were. Pyra! And there's their stage. Sorry, Rex. I couldn't tell you. Because... I got an invitation <laughs> to join Smash! Huh? <laughs> Pyra blazes into battle! Oh, Yay! I thought I was gonna be in Smash! <laughs> Sorry, Rex! Leave it to me, Rex! Screw you, you Rex! The power of the ages! <laughs> More sword characters. You powered up your About it. Mithra awaken! Mithra! Couldn't it close? Break to these shit! Hey, were these guys planning on leaving? Gee, I'm kind of bad now. Coming through! Like I said, I I'd honestly take anyone except for this moment. Ray is punishment! It's not Impa, but this is fine. Foresight! Ooh! You can even use that! Hey, right here. So you two can swap between each other freely. Nice. Serious fight. Blinding speed. Together. Nothing can They just really away. like beating up on Link, don't they? Quite the spectacle, aren't they? <laughs> Rumps? Uh, why do I have a feeling calling your grandpa to the bar? What's your wild? Oh, we've got to do Our friends are here. And there's a boy. Yay! You're all mine. Okay, I'm let's see this. Oh, Save he's the fucking snap. Burning soul. Oh, that is awesome. Sure did. Witness our power. <laughs> Shulk? I never expected to see you two again. Well. Now that you're in Smash, I won't go easy on you! Yeah! <laughs> you forget. We're fighters too! Well, yeah, that's the point. That's why he's challenging you to a fight. <laughs> Yay! That was fun. It told a nice story. Nothing. Hello, everyone. It's been a while. I'm Shinya Takahashi from Nintendo. <laughs> I'll say it has. Last year, we delivered some news through a series of Nintendo Direct mini presentations. However, we haven't been able to present a Nintendo Direct in this style for some time. It's pretty much been the same style, dude. I don't know. I'm happy to share this Nintendo Direct with you all today. Oh, 
We appreciate your continued support. I wonder if that means you can start with Mithra or if you always have to start as Tyra. Okay. What you just saw was the reveal trailer for the newest fighter in the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game, Hyra and Mithra. They originally appeared in the Xenoblade Chronicles series as Rex's two-in-one ally. Please look forward to seeing their moveset in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This fighter releases in March, so we hope you'll stay tuned just a bit longer. All right, let's continue with our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Yay! Okay, Fall Guys. I think there's kind of a given that they would show up on the Switch at some point. <laughs> Stumble toward greatness when Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout comes to the Nintendo Switch system summer oh, 2021. Bonk. You have 22 minutes oh, before okay. the solar system game. is destroyed. Outer wild. Venture into the vast reaches of space to uncover the secrets left behind by an ancient civilization. You have 22 Always. minutes. After that, the sun will explode and the solar system will be annihilated. However, everything will reset allowing you to continue exploring while retaining information you gathered. It's like Majora's Mask, only somehow less nightmare. Well, By repeating the these cycles, words. you'll gradually unravel the mysteries hidden in the universe. What messages will you discover? How can you prevent the sun from exploding? Why can is you, the solar system you trapped ever... in an endless time loop? Find out! when the critically acclaimed Outer Wilds launches on Nintendo Switch, summer 2021. Sounds good, sounds good. Put your sleuthing skills to the test in two classic murder mystery games. Classic murder mysteries, huh? <laughs> Famicom Detective Club, The Missing Heir. Oh, really? And Famicom Detective Club, The Girl Who Stands Behind. Two deep cuts from Nintendo history are yeah, coming to North America for the cuts. first time. Localized in English and modernized for the Nintendo Switch system. Suspense, drama, and twists like and turns await at every corner. You'll be on the edge of your seat as you dive into these deep narratives set in Japan. In one game, you'll solve a complex murder case surrounding a wealthy family in a haunted village while dealing with amnesia. Mm -hmm. But that's not the only case to crack. They had a third game? In the other game, You'll investigate a supernatural rumor after a mysterious death to free students from a sinister nightmare. Interrogate suspects and hunt okay, for clues to piece acted, together these like chilling conundrums. Can you figure out who the culprit is before it's too late? Uncover the deadly truth in Famicom Detective Club The Missing Heir and Famicom Detective Club The Girl Who Stands Behind. Coming to Nintendo Switch May 14th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Hmm. Cool, cool. A new age of battles begins. All right. Oh god, it is! Oh my lord, it is! Entry in the Samurai Warriors franchise is coming to Nintendo Switch. 
dive into the history of the Sengoku period as the series now shines the spotlight on Nobunaga okay. Oda and Mitsuhide Akechi. <laughs> Character designs and visuals have been revamped for this installment. Unleash high octane moves in electrifying 1 versus 1,000 battles. Nice. In Samurai Warriors oh. 5, slashing its oh, way onto Nintendo so Switch, fun. summer 2021. Vast world of Fadia seconds. I've heard that. Where have I heard that? After name 20 before? long years, Legend of Mana featuring oh. remastered HD graphics is coming to Nintendo Switch. Wait, I thought that already came out. Like, two you'll years set ago. off on a journey to find the mystical mana tree seen in a dream. Oh no, it was for like PS4. Before discovering the world map is empty. During your travels, you'll acquire special items called artifacts. Place them on the map to bring towns, dungeons, and other lands to life. Interesting. It's up to you on when and where to place to artifacts, as town. well as how to advance the story. Join forces with characters, each on their own personal quests. Square off against oh, fearsome cool. monsters. Or take so a break from adventure okay? and rest up at home. Very the music has right. been rearranged for this enhanced version and you can alternate between the new arrangement and the original soundtrack. Other features have been added, including the ability to turn off enemy encounters, <laughs> as well as the new minigame, Ring Ring Land. <laughs> Legend of Mana oh, will launch on Nintendo is that? Switch is that a virtual June 24th. It's a giant spider invasion! A dragon armadillo. Important news. So it's finally beginning. Go assemble the villagers. Fifty years ago, Kamura Village was attacked by the Rampage and Magnum Malo. All right. And we suffered some devastating casualties. How can we fight against that? Our hunters Same are about way, to face the biggest else. challenge. Cunning dial weapons the size of a small house. No! We can't lose this gate! Pull yourselves together! You're not getting in! Let's go, everyone! Go rampage Did somewhere else! Contact? You listen to me now! Oh, and Cap. Okay. Here it comes! Watch out for the Apex! Do not let pass! Okay. The rampage? How long do you think it's going to last? Well, that kind of depends on us. Uh, Inoa, we should start preparations right away. We're here to offer to We must Gotta stop have the code. calamity! <laughs> Gotta have dramatic posing. Ooh, that looks actually really nice. Not like the Switch version. That was the latest the, trailer the, uh, for Monster Snapchat Hunter Rise from Capcom. How will our heroes fare it? against these ferocious monsters? Stay tuned for the latest installment in the Monster Hunter series, launching March 26th. Next, please take a look at this. Uh. <laughs> the fairway is open once again. All Tee right. off in the latest installment of the Mario Golf series, coming to Nintendo Switch. Super Rush. Study the wind and terrain. Take your time to think things through. 
Van Swing. <clears throat> Enjoy golfing with familiar Mushroom Kingdom characters on courses filled with lush, natural scenery. What, what's this announcer? She Use features on the greens, like a shot gauge, down. to see how your shot will curve kind of due to slopes. Beat. And a scan that lets you examine a course's terrain. Okay. These features this. can help you ace your shots. In addition to button controls, you can also use motion controls by oh, holding oh. a Joy-Con controller like a golf club. Gently swing the controller to have your character swing in the game letting you easily enjoy the sensation Gently of golfing. <laughs> On top of all that, there are several modes with new elements that truly bring the heat to Mario Golf, oh, including my, this my, one, my. Speed Golf. Here, it's always well, you your turn. Have it be Everyone golf, tees off at the okay. same time, then Otherwise, you'll race through the course to reach your ball. People, Give it another whack to get it closer to the hole, yeah. then keep going outpace your opponents to come out on top. You know? <laughs> your golfing skills aren't the only things at play. Make use of dashes and special shots to beat the competition. Oh, did we mention story mode? Jeez, as a me character, you'll start out as a rookie and develop your golfing skills while interacting with various Mushroom Kingdom characters. Ah! Level up Just with like experience like points earned game. during matches. Then allocate points to different stats allowing cool. you to develop your character however you'd like. You can also use your me <laughs> in versus play. Put your golfing skills to the test when Mario Golf Super Rush swings on Nintendo Switch June 25th. Pre-orders begin on Nintendo eShop after this presentation. The latest game in the Mario Golf series adds new gameplay for multiplayer modes, okay, as well okay, as the familiar fun. golf gameplay with easy-to-learn controls. Please look forward to this game on Nintendo Switch. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. Yes, let's do that. Check out these games coming to Nintendo Switch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you. Return to the unforgiving world of Pandora in Tales from the Borderlands. Play as the Hyperion lackey, Reese, and the quick-witted con artist, Fiona, as you set out to recover a mountain of cash. Set between Borderlands 2 and 3, this game includes all five episodes, all right. filled with classic Borderlands humor. Gangsters, bandit lords, and vault hunters like are just a handful of the obstacles you'll encounter in this choice-driven narrative adventure. Embark on a wild a ride when Tales from the world. Borderlands launches on Nintendo Switch March 24th. 32 oh, of Capcom's wow. most beloved arcade classics are coming to Nintendo Switch. Rewind gameplay, adjust game speed or difficulty, and select from a variety display options to relive that sweet arcade goodness. Get 1943 The Battle of Midway for free. Then purchase I've game packs or the standalone Ghosts and Goblins add-on to build your collection. Local co-op play is it's also available. Scratch that nostalgic itch when Capcom Arcade Stadium launches later today. Cool, cool. Brains. <laughs> As a zombie, you just can't get enough of it. In this action game from Aspire, you'll build your zombie horde and take revenge on the city by turning humans into your undead allies. Replenish your bodily arsenal of sputum head, gut grenades, and more during your grisly mission. This city ain't no match for a dead man. Stubbs the zombie and Rebel Without a Pulse eats its way onto Nintendo Switch March 16th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. It's Travis Touchdown <laughs> versus oh, Assassins. Wait, aliens? Aliens have, have invaded Earth. Hold up, is this even the right game? Anyway, after annihilating an entire city, the aliens have taken over and now host an intergalactic superhero ranking tournament to decide Earth's fate. Here we go. As the crass, beam katana wielding Sounds assassin good. Travis Sounds Touchdown, good. you'll need to fight your way I to the top to save the out. world. What's wrong? Hey, not so fast. To enter each boss fight, you'll have to do some odd jobs around town oh, and earn enough to did. pay off the entry fee. You'll then it face off against no more heroes unusual with their opponents. Most work. of them aliens with some crazy tricks up their sleeves. Study their oh, tactics no. carefully to gain the upper hand in combat. With a new and improved death glove, you'll have access to oh, a variety of deadly fantastic. skills that can be customized and upgraded before each match. The fate of the world is at stake. 
So get ready to kick some, uh, whatever aliens have that you can kick. Anyway, it'll all make sense oh, when No, no More Heroes 3 lands on Earth. Or, you know, Nintendo Switch, August 27th. <laughs> Exterminate demons in he heaven? <laughs> More out As of her, they're making a lot today. So below. Why do they need assassins in heaven? <laughs> to do someone's dirty work. Okay. I'm not grabbing. Kill or be killed. You won't last long if you can't rely on yourself. They all just kind of run together in my head. God's judgment has nothing to do with it. Uncover Heaven's Looks Mysteries like in Neon White, speed, coming right? to Nintendo Switch, Winter 2021. Okay. The DC Super <laughs> Girls are here to save the day. Hi, everyone. My name's Barbara Gordon. My eyes AKA are the size of sausage I'm always inventing new gadgets to fight crime, like my batarangs and backup. This is Supergirl. She's super strong and has heat vision, plus super breath. All and right. let's not forget Wonder Woman, an Amazonian warrior who wields the lasso of truth. Along with our friends Green Lantern, Bumblebee, and Zatanna, we fight evil supervillains to keep our city safe. Haven't seen live but we're not in just about the super life. We also have our school lives, and trust me, there's never a dull moment at Metropolis I'm High School. Really good at Sometimes it'd be nice to get out of class and do some shopping downtown with my besties. Ooh, and maybe take some photos to share on Superstar Post while we're at it. <laughs> hey, hey, I got a comment already. Nice. Ooh, and I definitely want to hit up Sweet Justice later. Uh oh, something yeah, really bad is threatening the city. No one could have seen it coming, but when justice calls, you can count on us delicious. to answer no matter what. You guys never watch Broad in Japan. We just gotta make sure <laughs> no one figures out our secret identities. Uh huh. DC Superhero Girls Team Power heroically soars onto Nintendo Switch June 4th. Alright. Ready the juice cannons <laughs> and prepare for battle. together on a quest to face evil and save faces. Metopia is coming to Nintendo Switch. Cast me characters in various roles across the kingdom. So boring. Turn your favorite people into your allies, or even make someone the nefarious Dark Lord. Makeup has been added as a new feature in this game. Glam up your Mies and get them ready for adventure. There's also a new wig feature. Cool. Letting you go wild with your me creations and make them even more fabulous. Nice. Could definitely In the world of Metopia, relationships are key. 
so consider spending some quality time with allies to strengthen bonds. <laughs> this can give you an advantage during battle. If your relationship's sour, though, things might take a turn for the worse. <laughs> that was hilarious. Whoa! You can have a horse as an ally? Oh, that cool. That sounds pretty barn good. Care for it, and it'll good. lend a hand, or poof, in battle. Venture with friends and familiar faces in the lighthearted romp, Metopia. Coming to Nintendo Switch, I, May 21st. Tell us if you Pre-orders begin problem, today on Nintendo eShop. Please. Super Mario oh, themed yay. items are coming to your island. Yeah, I was actually wondering if we were going to get Super some. Mario Brothers 35th anniversary themed items are coming to the Animal Crossing New Horizons game. Some of the Nintendo items back. Familiar items back. like the Super Mushroom and the Question Block can be ordered in game as furniture items. So oh, place them however jump, and wherever you'd like. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. You can also place two warp pipes. Oh my lord, that's hilarious. Then use them to travel between locations on your island. Hey, why not try recreating the Mushroom Kingdom? <laughs> A free update for the Ooh. game launches February 25th. After downloading it, Super Mario Brothers items will be available via Nook Shopping starting March 1st. Cool. Keep an eye on the official Animal Crossing Twitter account for the latest information. Sounds good, sounds good. I shall have to do that. We hope you continue enjoying life on your island. How was that? These collaboration items will be released as part of the Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary events. Please wait a bit longer for their release. Speaking of which, last week, we had the global launch for the Super Mario 3D World Plus Bowser's Fury game. We hope you enjoy that Mario adventure as well. Next, we have another game to show you. He leaves us no recourse. Swords. Never. S. Frost will answer for its crimes today. Is this are these the wages of loyalty? Raised earth and burnt corpses. You and no other the must decide how we proceed. Like... You are a leader and must be the beacon others look to when the night is darkest. Together with these fields, today you burn. Oh. I promise to do all in my power to see us through this safely, every last one of us. Project Triangle Strategy. So it's far, not a sequel, far but it's away related. lies the continent of Norzilia, comprised of three nations and limited deposits of salt and iron. The constant feuds among okay. the nations over these precious resources eventually ignited into a great conflict known as the Salt Iron War. Though the hostilities Pretty ceased unknown, with an uneasy okay. truce, decades later the flames of war threatened to engulf the realm once again. You are all that remains. Caught in a tangled, fiery web of plots and conspiracies, a brave group from Glenbrook fights to save their kingdom from the powers that would orchestrate their downfall. Our benefit, you say. In this new tactical RPG, battles take place oh, on terrain with different course. elevations. A character's attack range is determined by their location and their equipped weapon. The range can be extended by attacking from higher ground with long-range weapons, such as bows and arrows. Thus, your forces can use the terrain and other elements to gain the upper hand. An enemy outflanked is susceptible not only to your initial attack, but also a powerful blow from the ally positioned behind the enemy. What have we here? 
Yeah, this can really help Charge her. into an enemy to send them flying into position for a follow-up attack. We win. Link attacks together by first casting ice magic on the flames to create water terrain. Then electrify the area with lightning magic. So preferably again. It is of the utmost importance to survey the battlefield before taking action. Throughout the story, you will be faced with making important decisions in a variety of situations. Mm. Utility, morality, liberty. Collectively, Fraternity. your decisions will establish your conviction, affecting how the story unfolds and who will join your cause. Oh, oh, a lot more characters than we... Once more, oh, I would ask you plainly. Do we or don't we relinquish Prince Roland to Estrost? Critical decisions that may determine the fates of nations are settled by vote on the scales of conviction. Use information you've gathered to sway allies toward your favored cause. The story will significantly change based on how the votes are cast. So they refuse to relinquish him to us. Why? Oh, people are going to be so His hand was forced. As more and more critical decisions are made, your journey may take you down paths divergent from those of other players. You will see okay. what true might is. Project Triangle Strategy, a brand new tactical RPG from Square Enix, will launch in 2022. Ooh. Please be on the lookout for more information in the future. After this presentation, a demo version Ooh. of this game will be available to download on Nintendo eShop. And in the year? future, we'll conduct a survey to gather um. player feedback. We look forward to well, hearing for one, your that title's responses gotta go. on the demo. Please look forward to future updates on this brand new tactical RPG from Square Enix. Okay, let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. Yes, let's, shall we? Calling all hunters. Do you have what it takes? Probably not. Gonna be honest with you. Star Wars like, Hunters is a competitive free-to-play online game set between episodes 6 and 7. Clash in this third-person really shooter coming to Nintendo Switch in 2021. Um, right, including developing the right, characters of the player. Do I look at you or the camera? Knockout City interviews, take one. <laughs> we all play for different reasons. Mm. Gorgon love battle. Gorgon used many weapons. Triple-bladed war axe, spear of misery, Hades soul-devouring crossbow. A princess is supposed to lead her people, not be stuck up in some tower waiting for a hero. My line of work? Bullets are constantly whizzing past you. Flaming longsword, blade of doom. Just once. Just once I'd like to catch one of them bullets. You know, with my hands. With this crown, I'm gonna lead my team to victory and kick some serious <laughs> Look, it's simple. Corgan want new weapon. In Knockout City, I'm like a kung fu master. I can catch bullets. I'm get some. Not wearing a uniform. Max, this is a war zone, not a bloody fashion show. Pass to me. I don't know. I feel like they just have to play the game. What? Interview 
Chapter's over. Oh, come on, man, one more game. One of the most awkward ads I've ever seen. And we're talking about video games, so there's a lot of awkward ads. The fight for survival starts now. Hang on tight, because you're all going to play a little game of fate for me. From the creators of the Danganronpa and Zero Escape series comes a fight for your life. Literally, disoriented and trapped in an underwater theme park, the 12 of you, known as the Go-Getters Club, must now survive this game of fate at all costs. I don't want to die yet! Sorry to scare you all, but... The game is cancelled! The game is suddenly called off. You escape the theme park and get a glimpse of Japan. But everyone's vanished. Oh my! Set off on a captivating journey across like the country the that blends side-scrolling action with suspenseful narrative. The one behind the whole game of fate. As you make your way back home to Tokyo, you'll alternate between working solo and teaming up with the group to overcome challenges and monsters that stand in your way. What awaits you all at the end of your journey? The okay, battle for survival begins in World's End Club, the venturing onto Nintendo Switch, May 28th. <laughs> Wield the powers of Olympus with the oh, physical release of Hades. Has been out for a little while. Hades, the critically acclaimed dungeon crawler and recipient of multiple Game of the Year awards, is getting a physical release on oh, Nintendo oh, cool. Switch. This version comes with a couple of extras to assist you oh. on your journey out of the underworld. The first is a PC download code for the Hades original soundtrack. Oh, it's packed with two and a half hours of blood pumping music composed by Darren Korb known for his work on previous Supergiant titles like Transistor and Bastion. The second is a 32-page full-color character compendium featuring portraits of the game's vibrant cast of gods, ghosts, and monsters all by Supergiant's art director, Gen Z. And let's not forget the game itself, offering dozens of hours of exhilarating action paired with a compelling story. Escape yeah, the underworld like, again, or for the first time, good, like with the physical the version of Hades really on March 19th. Three deadly action games, one oh, masterful collection. Sweet. Oh, sweet. Ninja Gaiden Sigma, Just Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2, and Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge are coming to Nintendo Switch as the action packed Ninja Gaiden <laughs> Master Collection. Like I said, Ryu Hayabusa should be in Smash. You are the legendary ninja Ryu Hayabusa, fighting against a great evil with battle skills that are second to none. Wield an arsenal of killer weapons, each offering a playstyle with different set of lethal skills, along with ruthless ninjutsu to swiftly take down enemies. Quickly gauge your opponent's movements while unleashing fast and frenzied combos. And team up with other super ninjas in your quest to fulfill your destiny. All previous downloadable content, including costumes and game modes, are included. Revel in the intensity of Ninja Gaiden in one dynamic collection. Ninja Gaiden Master Collection slices its way onto Nintendo Switch game. Summer 2021. Battles are coming to Hyrule Warriors: Age of Calamity. I thought so. We gotta find out what the heck happened to Suga. to give us Aster <gasps> Oh, are they finally playable? Do I finally get Robbie and Pura playable? Okay. I think I could spend my money on that. There's even more coming to Nintendo Switch. Bravely Default 2 is Maybe almost here. Bravely Default 2. Four Heroes of Light will soon embark on a journey to restore the crystals. Use the job system to develop your characters and master the Brave and Default commands to emerge victorious in turn-based battles. I live to fight. Veterans and newcomers Holy to the series mix. can enjoy this brand new story on February 26th. Yeah, boil the hell out of it. A new trailer for Bravely Default 2 will be revealed following this presentation. Oh, interesting. The game can be pre-ordered on Nintendo eShop. Not actually An updated good. demo is also available. Okay. 
the latest installment in the legendary Ghosts and Goblins series comes to life. As the brave knight Arthur, you'll unleash weapons, spells, and skills to battle monsters across challenging stages within the demon realm. Local co-op play is also available for the People first time. Help Arthur, Arthur in his quest with one of three supporting That's characters. Around, Barry for yeah, defense, Carry for transportation, or Archie for bridges. Well, Ghosts we, and Goblins Resurrection launches February 25th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Eight protagonists, eight captivating journeys. Saga, Saga Frontier, Frontier has been remastered for Nintendo Switch. Travel through a stunning sci-fi world with any of the protagonists, each with their own stories. With the addition of the playable protagonist Fuse, new gameplay features, exhilarating battles, and a new scenario for the protagonist Acellus, Saga Frontier Remastered is an adventure not to be missed. The game launches April 15th. Apex Legends is storming onto the Nintendo Switch system. This okay. free-to-play battle royale features a growing roster of powerful contenders named Legends, Hello. strategic combat, cross-platform play, finished. and more. All players on Nintendo Switch can get an all-new Legendary Almost Pathfinder finished. skin, and 30 free levels for the Season 8 Mayhem Battle Pass. Plus, for the first two weeks after launch, earn double XP when you play on Nintendo Switch. Fight for fortune, fame, and glory when Apex enters the fray March 9th. All right. How's it going so far? There's still a little bit more to show you in today's Nintendo Direct, so we hope you'll stick with us. Next, please take a look at this. Hello, I'm Eiji Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. Hello, Mr. Aonuma. I'm sure a lot of you saw me and thought there might be news about the sequel to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game. No, you're going to tell us about that later. we don't have anything to share right now. We apologize. Development is proceeding smoothly, and we should be able to bring you some new information this year. For now, we'll have to ask you to wait just a bit longer. While you're all waiting, however, this Legend of Zelda game will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Please take a look. Skyward Sword? Yes! I never actually, I own this for the, for the Wii, and I never got to play it. I even went on a hunt all around town for the controller that, and I still never played it. I guess Aguirre him would be one of the better characters in Hyrule Warriors. What you've just seen is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. This game originally released in 2011 on the Wii console, and now it's coming to Nintendo Switch. Cool, cool. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword featured a control scheme in which players would use the Wii Remote Plus controller as a sword and the Nunchuck controller as a shield. With the increased processing power of the Nintendo Switch system, the controls here are smoother and even more intuitive. Nice. And we've recreated the controls for the sword and the shield here by having the player hold two Joy-Con controllers. The Joy-Con controller in your right hand is the sword. Swing it to have Link swing his sword in the game. Can you play it? Like, the Joy-Con controller the in your left hand is the shield. By lifting the controller, you can raise the Wait, shield to block enemy it? attacks. You can perform other actions like using both controllers to wield a bow and arrow. These physical movements add a sense of urgency and tension to combat. But we've also made it possible to play the game with button controls to ensure it can be played in handheld mode or on the Nintendo Switch Lite system. After mulling over how to assign different gameplay elements to different buttons, we decided to apply the sword motions to tilting the right control stick. I don't know, that still sounds a little more complicated than it Tilt is. the stick down when you want to swing the sword downward. To swing to the right, to the left, or diagonally, just tilt the stick in the respective direction. So there's no camera Here's something else we've been working on. Specially designed Joy-Con right. controllers. 
The right Joy-Con controller is themed after the Master Sword, while the left features a Hylian shield motif. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, as the game depicting oh, the earliest be, story in the Legend of Zelda timeline, hand. details the events around you the know, creation like of the Master Sword itself. We hope that people who played the original game on Wii, and those playing it for the first time, will enjoy discovering the origins of The Legend of Zelda. Alright. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD launches July 16th. Following this Nintendo Direct, you'll be able to pre-order the game on Nintendo eShop. And the specially designed Joy-Con controllers will launch on the game's release date at your local retailers. Many of you may already know this, but The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword was the last original console game prior to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game, and it was still following the establishments of The Legend of Zelda. However, it gave a glimpse into many features and innovations that would eventually be adopted in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Using the sailcloth to descend in midair, a stamina gauge that depleted as you scaled walls with vines or ram. Even the concept of collecting items to upgrade gear. I hope those of you who've played The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will give this game a try as well. Please look forward to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Well, what did you think? The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword has been optimized for Nintendo Switch. It includes intuitive motion controls and button controls by tilting the right control stick. Okay, the next game will be our last announcement for today. Please take a look at this. Okay. Okay, it's not going to be Pokemon. Unless it's going to be, uh, oh, no. Okay. Oh, it's Splatoon. I was going to say unless it's going to be or a remake, but. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Little buddy's turn. Is this a free? Oh, France got flipped turned upside down.
What you've just seen is the latest installment in the Splatoon series, Splatoon 3. This game is scheduled to launch in 2022, so it'll be a while. We hope you'll stay tuned for more information at a later time. We shall. Today, we showed you a sampling of games coming to Nintendo Switch. A variety of games are in development. And we look forward to sharing more news with you in the future. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. All right. Thank you for having us. All right, well, let's see, of the things we got, um, announcement of Zelda Direct, did we really get, they said they were going to tell us about the sequel later this year, so maybe. We got no Pokemon news whatsoever. Uh, we didn't get any Final Fantasy Collection stuff, we didn't get any Final Fantasy at all, but we did get some other Square Enix titles, including old classic RPGs. We got nothing on Bayo 3 or Metroid Prime 4. We didn't get input for Smash, but we got someone I'm pleased with. Kind of got Tomodachi Life sequel because um, Miitopia was supposed to be the spiritual successor. Didn't get Radio Run to Story Report, didn't get Switch menus. Uh, they didn't say anything about the online, no amiibos, and Parrot says yet to be seen because I don't know if any of these games have Parrot. They might. I mean, if I didn't know in advance that Nino Kuni had a Parrot in it. And I wouldn't have counted that, but no, it definitely does. And he wears a little bow tie, and it's the cutest thing ever. Until you realize what exactly he and everyone around him is. So then it just gets sad. I was debating whether or not to actually spoil the twist for you, but I don't know. Are any of you playing Wrath of the White Witch still? Are any of you intending to? Anyway, yeah, so that one is indeterminate right now. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if a talk or two showed up in the new Mario Golf. Um, overall, we didn't get anything really uh, earth-shattering. Um, I think everyone kind of knew Skyward Sword was going to be coming to Switch, eventually at least, if not exactly now. Um... <laughs> yeah, the complete lack of Pokemon news during the month of the 25th anniversary kind of tells me that there's going to be a Pokemon Direct, but it did not get announced during this. Uh... So yeah. Um, that was fun. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I would have preferred input for Smash, but I am definitely not saying no to Mithra and Pyra. They look cool. <laughs> um, did, did we get a release date for them? Uh, we, we didn't get pardon me, any sort of Mr. Sakurai Presents Mithra and Pyra, or Pyra and Mithra it would be, wouldn't it? So, they're not the same character, but they are the same character? They swap in and out like Pokemon Trainer? I know people were saying that it would be like Pokemon Trainer, but Rex would be there. Samurai Warriors 5 looks interesting. Um, and I thought it was Nova Knight's ambition because it's almost identical character design. And two, they started off showing you the map. <laughs> and now I'm just really hoping that we get that Conquest sequel that would be so delicious. I would also accept Pokemon Dynasty. You know what else would be really cool, though? If they gave us something in that style, but it was the war in Kalos from 3,000 years ago. You could command Floet's final charge. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just putting that out there. I'm putting that in the stream and loading it away. Hopefully somebody important will pick it up. No, you don't! 
Not without your butt over some paper, you don't. She said, boop, boop. So, I gotta go before Athena messes up the floor. Okay. Fun ride. Come on. Let me get the recording menu to show up here. All right. Have fun, everybody. Until next time. Bye.